What's up? So I found this cool program on my Ubuntu laptop. So I have I have a lot of laptops, old laptops from across the years, and I just put Linux on a bunch of them, testing out things, especially when I was doing my Arch installs, especially for this laptop. I tested Arch and LARBs on a bunch of other laptops first because this was my baby, my uh, X220. So one thing, one program I found on Ubuntu that I really liked um, for a very specific reason was Teleco. Um, I have Teleco aliased on here to run um, a, a Teleco shell script, which, why did I do that? Um, oh, I think it was to disown it, because when you call it from the terminal, just like a lot of these programs, VS Code and RStudio, I have to write these scripts so that it actually disowns it, so I don't have to type out all this crap to run the binary or run the program, and it just and disowns it. Um, I have to do that a lot, actually. Um, so if I do teleco, I like this program. Um, so I actually have um, a couple collections. So teleco has collections. Um, and I'm not sure why it's not in here. Hmm. It is in here. What? Okay. Um, I have a couple of collections. And one of the main ones I wanted was um, my books and my wine. Um, I like drinking red wine. Um, not to a point where I have a crazy long list of them. I just wanted to make sure I knew where and what uh, wine I liked. But I also, I really like books. I have a lot of books. Um, and so I'm just recording all the books that I have and all the books that I've read. Uh, I'm not really putting in a lot of details like ratings or comments or really anything. I'm just recording everything that I have read and liked. Um, so I have all of this in here. Now the cool thing about, um, because this is like a, a FOSS program, uh, all the data is in XML. So again, no proprietary format. Your data is available to you. Um, in some way, it is available to you. So I really like this, this whole idea of having my collections of something like this. It doesn't work for everything. Um, it's really kind of difficult to work with like shows, TV shows and movies. Uh, I'm working on that still. I'm not sure where that's going to go, but at least for wine. I originally got it for wine, but then I saw books. I'm like, oh my god, my book collection. I spent a couple of hours putting my books into there. But I got like a couple wines. Um, I mainly shop at Total Wine and more. Um, my current favorite is this uh, Radius Red Blend. Um, you can see the picture right there. Really love this wine. Um, yeah, and this one I actually am entering all these details manually. So this is just what I'm doing for my collections, and this is called Teleco. You got a couple default collections here. Uh, with the book one, you can actually like search like Library of Congress or Google, and it'll import all the details of like all the books that I had. So all of those uh, details on it, like um, let's pick one, Poetic Edda, yeah. So let's open that up. So all these details in here, uh, whatever is actually in here, the pictures, all this crap, all this, all this is put in from the actual file that was imported from um, searching. So if I search, it'll actually let me, um, you know, I can search Library of Congress, Google, based on keywords, LS, uh, ISBN, person title. Uh, it'll give you a list of results, and you can find exactly what you're looking for and add it or batch add things. But yeah, so that's uh, Teleco. Um, I really enjoy the program. I recommend it for collections. It's cool. I like it. Not everything has to be terminal-based, but um, this is one thing I really do um, like that is GUI-based. So, Teleco.